A fellow city council member is being asked to resign after some comments that he made that are pretty controversial. It's the comments he said about Muslims that are getting him in trouble. Take a listen. You guys don't, you don't, you don't have Muslim drivers or whatever like in Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people of Muslim faith that we talked to today say this is outrageous. Five Eyewitness News reporter Kate Renner is live for us tonight to tell us more. Kate? Glen City Councilman Glenn Pasusta said his words are being misinterpreted. He was asking about hiring Muslims because they're good drivers. But many right here in Monticello say they're not, they're not buying it and it's election season. Up for discussion, should A plus Taxi be contracted to run a shuttle service in Monticello? That was the question before council members Monday, not the hiring practices of the company, until Glenn Pasusta spoke up. You guys don't, you don't, you don't have Muslim drivers or whatever like in Minneapolis. The owner of A-Plus Taxi made it clear he's open to hiring anyone qualified. At, at this point, we'll, we'll take anybody that wants to drive okay. this apology, as long as they meet the qualification. And Mayor Clint Herbst rebuked Pasusta's suggestion. The comment about the Muslim driver is not a, <laughs> not a good comment to make. I spoke with Pasusta, who declined an on-camera interview. He said he meant nothing derogatory. On Friday, he said, quote, there must be something about Muslim drivers that are good drivers since they drive taxis in Minneapolis. It makes logic sense to hire people who are the best taxi drivers. But some Monticello residents think this mayoral candidate should drop out of the race. If you make that type of a comment, I'd rather have my dog be mayor than him. I don't think a uh, religious uh, statement like that should be said in public view, <laughs> especially. I think he's allowed to say whatever he wants. But Pasusta was walking a fine line, according to the Council on American Islamic Relations. We talked to them at after they watched the video. It is illegal, it's against Minnesota state law and federal law to make a decision about employment based on a person's religion. I think the laughter was what was really disturbing for me. Um, you know, just making a joke out of Muslims coming into the community. But Basusta says it was no joke and he stands by it. Now, CARE Minnesota says they plan to reach out to Monticello City Council to offer them some training and some education. According to the Minnesota Department of Human Rights, it is illegal to treat any of your employees differently based on their religion. And when I spoke with Pasusta, he says he has no plans to drop out of the mayoral race or to resign from the city council. Reporting live in Monticello, Kate Renner, 5 Eyewitness.